My name is Rico, the Dungeon Master for Season 3, The Restoration of the Twelve Olympians. This season, we'll find our heroes traveling back to the lands of Eris and Enyo with Inharmonia as they adventure through and see what they have accomplished and completed by restoring the three fabled relics, the Sickle of Kronos, the Golden Apple of Discord, and the Robe and Necklace of Harmonia. We'll start with Deborah. I am Deborah, and I am playing a human rogue named Neith. Her name is Neith. And I'm Matt, playing a dragonborn monk named Ari Futan. And I'm Daphne, and I play Gilsira Venfire, who is a halfling druid. I'm Jenna. I am a cleric elf, and my name is Lix Balzator. And my name is Rico. I am the dungeon master for season three of the campaign. Who's Don't ready for Deborah's Diary? Yeah. <laughs> you said don't do a Rico. Drought. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even make it. It didn't past take that. long. <laughs> Dear Diary, Ari sincerely thanks Hermes for his help. Hermes had given up one fifth of his essence to the sickle. Our players fill up on ambrosia at the waterfall. And then the party goes to Cronus's farm and becomes and learns most of the gods will join them. That's exciting. Hell yeah. That the players head to Aspasia to see Bindi. She's the best. Bindi the then reminds them of many obvious things. <laughs> they go to see the alchemist for a lava holding receptacle. And they go and have lunch with Dolos, who lets the party know that they no longer have a door to Olympus. He's just got to make another one. So let's see how our party deals with these turn of events. Let's get back to work. In this episode of Some Would Play. Yeah, that all tracks with what I remember. So we're still in Aspasia. Yeah, because there are no wrong answers there. Kicking it. I wonder where, um, where, where's, are we all together? Yes, you guys are all together. Dope. At Bindi's, if I recall correctly. Fuck yeah. Because you were just getting ready to take the tree door to Therium, where you fought the boar. And that was the quickest way to get back to the mountain. Because your duo just creates portals all over the entire world. I love it. So did, uh, did we see the alchemist? Did we get the lava container? And what does that mean? I don't have lava container or anything like that in my inventory. Did the alchemist tell us to kick rocks? Specifically magma rocks? Does something have? Does somebody have something in in their inventory? Hey, Bendy, like did we go check? see the alchemist? I feel like you wanted the <laughs> lavas for your bombs or something like that. Oh, that, that tracks for Keith. Neith. Her name is Neith. Oh, so you said you won't pick on her, but so you're going to just pick on Gotta me. Gotta go somewhere, that. baby. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just bring it out of him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He's been doing this the entire time you've been gone. Don't worry. Hey, Bendy, did we happen to mention if we went to the alchemist? <laughs> Bendy's thinking long and hard. Is Bendy here? Yeah, Bendy's always here. Nice. Sometimes she's just not here. I love that. You did go see the alchemist. Sweet. You want to come on an adventure with us? Not even remotely. Okay. Mm-hmm. My years of adventuring are long. Ah, oh, don't say over. that. You got plenty of years left for adventuring. No, no, it's I fun. don't. Plus, who's going to watch my shop? Well, I can't like, leave this angel and this demon here to do it by themselves. Just summon a servant. <clears throat> What's it called? You know, a servant dude. I can make one. I'll, I'll watch it. Something. Bendy, if you want to go in the adventure. Some sort of spell. I'm sure you know it. You get a little dude, he does stuff for you. It's great. I don't want to adventure. Okay, well, you should still make the little dude. He's fun. Probably has personality. Is there anything else you guys wanted to do before you departed for Ethereum? I think you guys hammered out a plan to get into the bottom of the volcano. Yes. After Bendy's... Cube of Force. Insightful assistance. About obvious things, (laughs) a.k.a. how he can get this done. 
All right. So, I mean, like, um, should we... Those pre- components you mentioned on your your notes, is they something you needed for a warlock spell? I don't think so. I think it was to get invisibility, if I'm reading my notes correctly. And that doesn't make any sense. Okay. I don't think gum Arabic exists in this world. I think I was just writing down nonsense, honestly. <laughs> that sounds about I right. What the hell's wrong with me? I, know, I mean, I do know what the hell's wrong with me. I'm a fucking idiot. But, uh, you know, good times. So should we go or should we prowl around Dyspasia like to find another party member? <laughs> Off in the distance, you hear a boisterous voice of a woman that you may recall adventuring with coming from the Cleric Guild Hall. Hey, guys. Hey, you guys hear that? That, that, that sounds like voice. Guy. That sounds familiar. Hey. Is that, over here. Wait, is that, is that Wux? Well, let's go find out. I look out the window. Does Bendy's shop have windows? Ooh. Yeah, Bendy's shop has doors and windows. But or is it a Mac? You can hear her voice from over yonder. You can't see her unless you were to leave Bendy's to go to the Cleric Guild Hall down the street. Guys, we all heard that. Let's head that way, yeah? Yeah, I, I, go, out, I go out into the street. People in the streets. No, they're not. There's no one in the streets. This world is now a death realm. Just Jilly. Don't listen to him. I follow Gelsira. I need the three of you to give me an insight roll, please. Everyone not named Lux. It's my 16. Eight. <laughs> you dumb as hell, boy. I know. 28. You what? smart as hell, girl. <laughs> Who is it? It's probably our mouse friend, Jimmy. So as you're making your way to the voice that may sound familiar to you, in front of the clerics hall was that armor stand. Cool. And it is now just missing one piece of armor. And standing outside the clerics guild hall is Genevieve with Lux looking over the armor stand. You remember Genevieve said Lux was out on a mission gathering the armor pieces to try and bring back Martel. Is that... Is that Lux? What? Is Lux back from Lux. trying to gather the armor pieces of Martell? Keith, it's me, Lux. Lux, her name's Neve. <laughs> Hi, um, Lux. I run up to Lux. I uh, like scoop her up with a big old hug. I just stay moving and squeeze her. Normal pace. You slow fall to me. <laughs> I I wild shape into a a rat. Gross. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> Just for fun. I, I stand back and scowl and cross my arms. <laughs> I missed you too, Neith. <laughs> is that the right word? This time? There is one piece of armor missing left on the stand, and it is Martel's weapon hand. His right gauntlet is the only piece missing. You got any leads on where I, that last piece is? I think that we um maybe I need might need some help going to look for this thing. Where do you think it is? Do you have any leads? Do you know? Is there a rumor mill? Um, I could ask Hades. All right. Where'd you guys? What um? Where'd we get the last armor from? You, I've been like searching pieces. Believe there is a the last missing piece along the western coasts. I believe it's on the western coast from my sources thus far. How many pieces were missing? I believe I explained it, but I don't think anybody put it in their notes, Deborah. When, what episode did you explain it? I think it was like 104, 105. There you. So it's like January. <laughs> Oof, 105 is rough. Uh, 104 might be better. I mean, how many armor pieces can there be? I think there was only like four pieces missing, maybe five. But Lux has been gathering the pieces. That's the quest that she was on that Genevieve had sent her on. Which pieces have I gathered? Everything but the right gauntlet. Right gauntlet. And you gave them the helmet, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, because I remember picking that up. Yep. Hades found Martel. Found, yeah, I got his soul back, yeah. Lux, it's so good to see you again. You too, Jelly. What you been up to? Oh, you know, just adventuring with, with my friends. Can you give me a little squee squee? Squee squee. Oh, I missed you. It's irrelevant. Man, we went we went from take out Hermes first to being friends with him. 
Ari? What? Is that you? Yeah. Hey. What up? What's up, fat bastard? What's I, going you know, on? Not much. Just chilling, being awesome. You hey, know? where's Pan? Oh, he's off with Bahamut. Oh, I think I knew that. Yeah, there. I did know that. Have you guys seen him since? We, yeah, yeah, we, we bumped into him a couple him. times. We've adventured with him. A if bit. you guys see him again, tell him hey. We might. We will. <laughs> Hopefully, we. Wait, you might see him, or you might. We might tell, tell him. him. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll definitely see him. <laughs> Excuse me. At some point. Oh, I'm saying you missed our fight with our adventure with Martel. That was. Um, didn't we see him in Aspasia? <laughs> Or am I thinking Demarcus? Oh, Demarcus Marzan? That was from a long time ago. He was from Aspasia, though, right? Yeah, he used to be the evil ruler of Aspasia. It's Eclipse episode. <laughs> <laughs> Take us back. Before the restoration of the artifacts. Well, um, would you guys like to join me um, headed to the West Coast? Hell yeah. I mean, you know. Adventure only happens when you say yes. How do we got? Do we got um, steeds these days, or what do you guys got? I mean, we do. What do you got? Um, I can summon um, a Hades uh, pegacorn. Oh, right, the that thing. Can I do that, DM? Okay, I feel like you could. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we should go select. Go get our what? What are we doing? Do you guys want to go? I thought we were gonna go kill some gods. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one's there. You gotta, Anyone's there. Well, you gotta I answer mean, the call to adventure. Well, I mean, it seems kind adventure. of like a pretty important thing that we're doing. How have none of you disclosed to Lux what you're doing? You guys are absolutely mind blowing. We're to just me. we're gonna go have fun on the Western we're Coast. Up. Um. So, do you remember how we were doing the twelve labors of Hercules? Yeah. Yeah. Not the, anymore. There was a deviation. So, <laughs> how many of those things did you guys get done? I don't even remember, like five, I think. We got some five. of them done, now we're just going to kill the rest of the gods. Wait, do we, wait, I wonder if I'm still... Look, Kronos is like my father-in-law, and he still? wants, he's got beef with Zeus, so we're going to go do some shit. Oh, I miss Kronos. Yeah, he's like my father-in-law. Yeah, how's, um, what's her nuts? He's great. Oh, tell her hi, too. Will do. She got she, she got really forget. mad. She got really mad at me. Hold on. Oh yeah, she stayed back for a minute. That's Why? good. Because I I made a volcano happen in the city and people died. Jelly dog. What episode one hundred and five? I took like three notes. Who I'm the worst. I hate me. I hate me so much. All right, I could do better. Um, I'm not. Yeah. Well. Um, well, I mean, unless you guys are busy. Well, I mean, we're sort of busy. Kind of, sort of. We got to go to some mountain. With a volcano or something. I mean, we've kind of Fireman. started this. Fight Apollo. We've already had gods give us some of their essence. Also, do you want to come with cleric. us first, and then then we could go do the other thing? I um, mean, wouldn't it be nice? Well, to let me cleric? ask Genevieve first. Yeah, like, talk to I'm Genevieve. on a mission. So. Love that. I mean, do you guys have any gods on the West Coast? Maybe we could two birds, one stone. Really this shit. No, I don't. Do well with geography. I don't even know where I am right now. Only you had a magic map. Oh yeah, I got a magic showed, map. Who's that showed the map? Does it mean where? I whip I think out the map. You. you still have Little your bag of holding. Were. I whip out the map and look at the west coast. Is there anything there? There is. Oh, uh, what's there? Does it say? Does it have the like, one names? god in the ocean area? Oh, beside we got to kick his ass, right? <gasps> oh my god, well, we got to do that too. Are we hell bent do on doing the Apollo that first? Kraken battle. Hell yeah, that was fun. Hold on, why did we need the lava? <laughs> Can I roll insight for why we needed a lava? Alchemist requested it. Oh, why did the alchemist request it? For my arrows? Yes. Oh, okay. So it's like a me thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do? So you're just g g going through gods? We're killing the ones that won't join up for the cause. Cool. Do Ultimately, we, we want to be sack gods Olympus. Soon? Or I mean, that's the idea. Maybe kind of, sort of. I kind of thought we were going to be gods after we... Here's the thing. Completed or completed the twelve. Kronos is my dad right. in law, right. and he's got beef with Zeus, so we're gonna go beef with Zeus. I don't know. I've never liked Zeus. Yeah, honestly, it is what it is. I mean, he's kind of a jerk. I've got a cool new weapon. These motherfuckers got? got us doing weird chores. And I pull out the scythe. Mm, the sickle of sickle. Kronos. The sickle of Kronos. You have the sickle of Kronos as your weapon. And Hermes put a little j jizz in it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Some divine jizz. A little bit. Did did Hermes join up? 
because I like. I mean, Hermes. in that he jizzed in the weapon and gave us a cool. Yes, map. Hermes is on your side. All of I don't your know guys' if he's fight. gods are on your side. Kind of yeah, seems so like a non. Ares, Artemis, sort of is now. I wrote down previously that Hephaestus, Hephaestus has Hephaestus. tools. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that means, but Athena, Kronos, Artemis is going to shoot till Wait. dead. In Hades too. Well, good. The Athena has a lasso for Apollo. I don't know what that means, but I wrote it down. Sounds like something we should remember. We got to talk to Athena about some fire. lasso for but Apollo. Basically, we're definitely going to try to kill the three most pow- the three big ones: Zeus, Poseidon, Zeus, Poseidon. and Apollo. Definitely, a hundred percent Zeus. Mm-hmm. And the rest of them could talk us a out a bit if they want to, you know, join yeah. up and also kill Zeus. But Poseidon, we, yeah, well, let's go kill Poseidon. Poseidon and Apollo Poseidon. were the only two that were guaranteed not to help you guys. Oh, well, let's go kill Poseidon. You guys want to go kill Poseidon and help uh, Lux out with her fetch what, quest? What do you think, Neith? If we kill Poseidon, can we then go get lava? Yeah, sure, why okay. not? I don't know, yeah. Maybe there's some lava by the ocean. Maybe we'll just stumble upon hey, some. You never out, know how check, life look will on take your you. map. Is there a mountain range or anything? On oh yeah, the I check. Coastline? I check the map. Is there? Are there like undersea volcanoes by Poseidon? No. Okay. Is there like a oversea well, volcano? Well, means there's probably no. not a tsunami right. threat. Uh, where's the volcano on the map? Um, is it marked North Ethereum? Right. North. Okay. And you're saying west? Yeah. Okay. To the west coast. It's like California out you there. You know what? Hey, Genevieve, can you remind I'm me ready. how far away the West Coast is? You're ready to what? To use the sickle on a god. Oh, I love that. Is there, on the map, can I see, are there places marked like where we've set up portals to get to the West Coast quickly? No, all the Hardcore. map did was showed you where the pockets of the gods but were. But it is a map though, right? Like I could mm-hmm. be like, oh, this is a fucking And it sings to world. you. It goes, I'm a map, I'm a map. I'm a oh, map. I don't like I'm that. Can I turn that off? Um, <laughs> <laughs> map. Is I'm a map. I'm a map. <laughs> was that from Dora? Yes. Jeez. I was like, it's that or Blue's Clues. <laughs> it's from Dora. Okay, well, Dora. so the question is, how do we get to the West Coast? We could take our horses. Yeah, maybe Genevieve knows. Find out. I, uh, hey, Jen, um, is the how, how far? Can you remind me how far she away seems the coast like is? Probably the smartest person around us right now. So. Most Looking knowledge. at the map and where you need to go, I mean, you're probably three or four days ride. I don't hate Dude, that. How many of you fly now? Oh man, we gotta take our ba- badass horses. We got badass horses. We were gonna come back, but you have to return the plate of arm or the. I mean, uh, yeah, but oh, yeah, we'll come back. So and- we can ride my pegacorn, which holds like six hundred pounds. You can fly. Um, is Do you guys fly yet? Everyone can fly. <laughs> Basically. I mean, sort of. I've got boots of flying, fly so they're very not fast. really made for like. I gave you those. Sort of the whole thing, yeah. right? They're not really like fly across a island, kind of. Well, I we mean, we all can. You can ride uh, Ari and uh, she can. Neith can ride wild with shape me. into anything she yeah, doesn't can, need any assistance i can fly flying. at 20 yeah. feet i can run much um, faster hey oh how would if you wanted to we could you could also we could we you could ride a dragon over there i got crazy fast oh you get to be dragon now do you shape shift a dragon unencumbered mm-hmm. i'm at dragon i have a spell now that i can i haven't done it yet but i can turn into a black dragon you guys want to try out how fast is a black dragon hmm because that's Which, important information we'll need to yeah. know. Because I can run pretty fast. And I can fly at 20, which is not great. We can just fly very horses normal. like civilized people. It's not, people. not great. It's just very normal. Uh, 80 feet. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's not bad. Might be fun to try out a new spell. But our, I, horses, our horses are at the stables, I can right? only... Like, where are they? Well, I don't at know. Kronos? At the farm. Oh, because so they're I can, totally great. I can only they be a black life, dragon having a great for... Time, by the time we get back to our horses, they're going to be so fat. I don't know. By the time and I can happy, you which know, is important. maybe scrap the dragon idea because I'm by the time I'm gonna go with the group on this. What everyone else do we have is? any portals nearby the west coast? What's between us and do you have like the a west list coast? of where your portals are? Because uh, I definitely wouldn't. Have what What does your map say? Do you have anything between us? Does it between us? There are no and names Aspasia? of towns on the map. Oh, there is just topography and the lay of the land and the little pockets, what the about, gods' pockets. Hey Genevieve, about, do you have like a regular map? 
Genevieve done fucked off. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, are there got, any other people around? Working. Gold guild matters to attend to. That's fine. Are there any other random-ass clerics around? Yeah, plenty. I'm one. Why don't we, you hold dummy. on. Why don't we go to the Rangers Guild? I bet they have, like, amazing maps. Sure, why not? Hey, any okay. clerics around why here have a good map? you need a map? You've been to the West Coast. Also, I'm like, just trying to figure I out can, if we have any portals or we're going to have to fucking hoof it. You're going to have to hoof it. You guys didn't okay. create any portals. I don't think okay. Delsira had that level of portal spell. Ah, uh, no. Not, so, on, not on the West Coast. Well, not at the sea. Is going to Cronus's farm going to get us closer and then we can ride our horses from there to the West Coast? No. Or is it going to get us farther away? I mean, it's equidistant. Okay, it's equidistant. Let's just go get our horses, man. I'm cool with that. How fast Whatever. do our horses travel? Oh, um, oh God, like I think it's like 60 or something. At a sprint, like 120. Okay, yeah, let's go get our horses. Okay. Hey, Bendy. I mean, we're not going to sprint. Oh, and, she's and, gone. And if we right, give our horses, and 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 if we give our horses an ambrosia, they go really fast. Hmm. Um, I go up to. I'm I guess I'm just going to rent one. Well, how are you going to ride you your pickleborn? My my pig, I'll be there twice as fast as you guys. Well, that's fine. Just then wait. Go take just, a nap. Yeah, take care of Poseidon <laughs> oh, for I, us. I meditate. I don't take a nap. You just take care of Poseidon for us, and then we'll show up and help you clean up and find the armor piece. Um. So you said, at a, are the horses going to sprint the whole way? Well, I mean, oh, we're going to take okay. breaks. Oh, I, don't I am know not why in control I would of the that. horses. Yeah. The players are in control yeah, of the horses. Yeah, you're right. We're definitely going to give them breaks and feed them. I'm 90, I have, I have I'm 90 horse feet foods flying. in my thingamajig. I wrote it down. In a, in a, I'm 90 feet flying, so I don't mind showing up a little bit early. I can set y'all up a campsite. And You aren't going to show up early. Their horses go to 120. At a sprint? They can't sprint for three days. And you can't. No, they can't. Oh, Do you need sleep? No, I meditate. I thought that was the thing. No. Yeah. Okay, why don't you... Ride your pegacorn or fly however you want to fly, and then Gelsire can do her dragon thing. And let's get the fuck going. See about taking because care I of need to take this us. sickle and stick it in a god. Okay, well, how about one of you hop on me, one of you hop on Jelly as a dragon, and well, then I can only be a dragon for an hour. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> so we need to go get our horses. Let's go back to Bendy's, get the tree, go to Cronus's farm, and then. Horsey, horsey. Okay. Yes? We do that. Yep. All right. Bendy's. Hi, Bendy. Hello. We need to use your tree. I don't care. Thank you. We love you. I'm just, I I guess I'm just going to ride a horse with y'all. I mean, it'd be silly to go there before you guys. I'm sure Kronos has an extra horse he'll let you borrow. Oh, God. We can always ask. I'm sure I could just ask Hades. So Seriously, do you turn into a pegasus or are you, you summon one? No, I just summon one. I can't turn into one. Okay, so I am. Um, I I run through the portal. We'll get there twice as fast as no, you guys. No, it can yeah, and go that Poseidon. fast, or it can just hang out. I'm like, saying, go do us a favor and take care of this shit. Do not kill Poseidon first. It's I, I do not kill Poseidon. feel like doing the math on getting there on when I arrive before I you guys. So I'm worry. just gonna horse it with y'all. We can catch up. Let's quit. Can't your around. horse ride double? Do we make? I'm just gonna I'll ask for a goddamn do we horse. Make, do we make it to the tree? Dope. Yeah, it's just right there. In I, like, I, I run through the portal. Do you open it first? Mm-hmm. I presume as such. Yeah. Jesus. I follow. I hop on through. I say a quick little uh, howdy, love you to Hades, and hop through the portal. Where does this take us? We're like outside right. the farm. We're going to farm. Kronos's farm. Mm-hmm. All right. I uh, hobble on into the farm. I, gotta say hel- Gotta say hi to dad. Can't just pop in and bounce. I run up to I run to the stables, and as you guys exit the portal oh, to shit. get to Kronos's farm, oh, we murdered. There is Kronos and his three daughters, and a gaggle of gods, like all the ones that aren't Zeus, Apollo, and they're the Poseidon. Friendlies. Oh, hey, I guys. immediately run up to Hades and. Uh, Give him a big old hug and a smooch. He doesn't let you give or them I a try hug to do that. or a smooch. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What's up? And they all look at you guys and gals, and they say, we hear from Hermes that you're going to go assault Zeus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's mm-hmm. that's the end goal, yes. And we hear that you need a little bit of something from all of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be helpful for sure. 
Well, first we're about I to take out the sickle. How do you guys feel about Poseidon? I'm trying to take the temperature of the room. Well, we've heard that there are two of us that will not assist in taking down Zeus. We sort of got business on the west coast where Poseidon's little pocket dimension is. And so we're, we're going to go probably do that one first. You guys think he'd be on board with the cause or? No, no that's take, what he's saying. They won't. But will he get in the way of our cause? I guess we've never established. So is, is everybody here ready to like contribute to the sickle? That's exactly why we're, we're here. All right. You want to? Is Hera here? Sickle's Hera already out. is not here. Go ahead and hook mm-hmm. him up, man. Let's. You do the magic and and then they I'll go give Electo a big old kiss. Nah. All there it is. Walk up to you and walk up to the sickle, and they all give a portion of their essence to it. And now you see the full cycle of the moon glowing and etched into the blade of the sickle, waxing and waning in gibbous, full and new. And it shines with a beautiful, brilliant rainbow and silver gleam in the sickle. Shring! Wow. Um, hey, guys, I kind of missed this part. What does the uh, essence do for your sickle? I would love a, a fresh explainer of that. God damn it, I banged my humerus. <laughs> that is funny. Fuck. So it enables the sickle to, with the essences of the other gods, it attunes it <laughs> to the gods of Olympus, enabling you to rip apart their very essence and being on this plane. So imagine they are a computer file that gets put in the trash and you never see it ever again. Until you restore from trash. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like trash or permanently delete all? Permanently delete it. Okay. You just, it, it's as if you put something in the trash and then you empty the trash. So it's just on your with computer. like one, and then hit you get or Pandora recovery. Or, <laughs> <laughs> like, what's your like hip? hit dice on that or or like or is, is it just one swipe if you get close enough to him or you know what Lux watch this and I turn away from the gods so that I'm not swinging it anywhere she, near she's them she's gonna kill Lux <laughs> <laughs> and I swing the sickle to make that whole tear in space and time thing nice explain to her what it looks like it is literally what I just <laughs> it's like What's when like- Inuyasha uses the Yes, Mito's but you see a like a line go through space like and then rip. it like it opens and it's just like space and everything. Beautiful starry background yeah. inside with swirls of blue and purple. It's like where you send Superman. And like, exactly. or, yeah, or kind of like yeah. that. It looks yeah. like yeah. The, the negative zone. The yeah. Zone. And then the, 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 the tear begins to slowly stitch itself back up. Now do the... Does the thing that you hit go in there, or does that just? I mean, it's going to do that. Obliterate to them, the gods. Yeah. Okay. Cool. With one hit. Well, you know what? We haven't tested it yet. You tested it once. Oh, we tested it once. How'd it go? Well, she's still here, somehow, some way. Who was it? But like, she's not here. It's very hard to explain. Daddy rebuilt her. She didn't come back. Made her back. It didn't come we, back. We, right. We killed. <laughs> we killed Artemis. Oh, and but wow. then Artemis was revived here by Kronos. Cool. And now she's on our side, but she doesn't remember. Well, she learned her lesson. She well, she doesn't remember. <sighs> Dang. Daddy taught her. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. I mean, if anyone could bring it back, it'd be Kronos, right? Yep. Yes. And by if the anyone way, could can kill I say it, hello to Kronos and tell him like the farm looks nice and. It's nice to see him again. Yeah, absolutely. And there is beautiful field of wheat, and their iron mine is producing nicely. Or was it silver? Iron. Was it an iron mine? Sounds right. It's still there. Like, the farm is not the old rundown farm it used to be. These three have done a lot of work, and with all of these gods here, it looks like a really, really nice... I bet it's like golden hour Beautiful all the time right now. Yeah, you can feel the oppression of the auras of all of the gods gathered in one spot. Like, because you guys are mortal, like, you can feel the heaviness in your chest. It's thick. It's like breathing is a little labored as they're all, like, around you guys. Feels like we have pneumonia. 
<laughs> um, it feels like they are taking all of the oxygen in the like you can still breathe, but but it's a little labor because just the the intense pressure from all of these holy beings, all of these godly beings in one area. Um, cool. I asked Cronus, I'm like, hey Cronus, I know his hair is not here. Do you think that she's going to be a problem? I think Hera is out killing bastards. Mm. Oh, I love that. That makes sense. Killing. <laughs> oh, man. It's been a while. You're probably super right. Because that's something you guys were at one point in time doing. We were doing it. Sort and then of. you decided to abandon that. Well, I mean, some of them were cool. Hey, when Kronos <laughs> asks you a favor, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why she's not present. Okay. I don't think she cares one way or the other what happens to Zeus. Their relationship is weird. <laughs> complicated. Yes, complicated. <laughs> At best. We're going to uncomplicate it, hopefully. But I'm sure she's well aware of your guys' intentions, which yeah, is why we're not she's good taking at care it. of sort of a problem that's why they're all here maybe that's- i mean the good news is if she's taking care of zeus's bastard children that's less that will be there to aid zeus Listen. oh i forgot to mention that to you guys all the bastard children of zeus probably would likely be there to aid zeus as well is that because they're mm. like brainwashed or they got daddy issues daddy issues um, mostly because like he ain't been around, has he? Well, with I mean, the rest of the kind of just tell him, hey, on against him. him, he doesn't have a whole lot left to draw. Oh, right, right. And they'll they'll show up and they'll be like, "Sure, Daddy." And Would Hera we'll be up and pissed be like, if we didn't no, kill them then? Because that since that was like once the thing we I were mean, tasked with. I mean, whatever if, gets in front of this sickle is yeah, not we, going to survive. Yeah, we'll probably end up killing them. Yeah, but so, like, don't, you know, I thought we like had a good relationship with Hera. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. You definitely had a relationship with Hera. Don't know if it was good. <laughs> she well, I mean, us. you completed her trial. She's the one that gave you the Hera's embrace, the ability to see the bastard children. Oh, yeah. I forgot we had to check for that, like, everywhere. You know, we for some reason, she's just really, like, you know, obsessed with this bastard children stuff. Like, we're like, there we got to take many. a break from this and there don't go need do to a be different more thing. Demigods. He's a fucking whore. So I turn to the gods, and I put the sickle away. And I ask them, is there anybody here? I'm addressing them all. <laughs> is there anybody here who, like, who knows the most about Poseidon and may be able to help with possible weak points or how to get him? Because I am sure he is going to try to stay in the ocean and we tend to be very land gentry. Find a way to breathe underwater. Do you still have that? Boat and on sustain your- intense pressures of the deep sea. I mean, we do um, have a dolphin. Are Cuba there, Force. Are there any? Uh, is there? A, is there? A, are there? Is there like a pond around here? There can be. Do you need a pond around here? I need to see a kill or a whale. Can anybody? They don't live. I in don't ponds. think they live in a pond. <laughs> Why does he just like what? I just need to see How one. Piece of ocean. But how will a pond help? A lake, maybe. How about a piece of Still ocean? Nope. It has to. Be, if you <laughs> if you say salt water, maybe. Is it also still though? No. <laughs> I mean, where do they live in this world? I mean, obviously piece that's of an ocean a thing, but mm. maybe we you'll go see whale one when we go before... fuck up Poseidon. Probably. I hope so. I just really need to see a killer Summon whale. Summon yacht, and you will find one. Kim mm. Kronos, do you have Discovery Channel? <laughs> you turn on. <laughs> We can see some killer, What's discovery chat? killer whales mating. I don't know. Sometimes I have crazy <laughs> ideas and say crazy things. So who's out there? Hephaestus and... Everyone. Uh, I have a really everyone? random question for you. Yeah. Do you think... Have I Sorry. been around Athena enough to say that I've studied her for at least three hours? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. She for is your disguise. Beautiful. So I can unerringly mimic another person so like if we wanted like to try to get Poseidon like I don't know bring Poseidon out to because he thinks that he hears somebody that he knows or whatever that might be a Ooh, who is he who does Poseidon like to fuck does Poseidon have a love life nope hey Aries do you have any um advice on any weaknesses of Poseidon 
You have the sickle of Kronos. What additional weaknesses do you need to we take advantage of? We just need to get of? him to us because we have this thing called we can't breathe underwater. That sounds like a mortal problem. It is a mortal problem. Do you guys have any like breathing apparatus? Jelly, like- you know, you can turn into a dolphin and go look at a killer whale. Mm. Like maybe like a suit of you armor that would be before. airtight mm. and allow us to breathe underwater or a helmet that did that less complicated. I thought somebody did get a helmet at one point. You had a, them. it was a teleportation helmet. Mm-hmm. Oh. Was when I yeah, didn't know what teleport helmet. oxygen right into your lungs. You have a rowboat too on that robe of yours if you still I have might that have rope. Used it. <laughs> I definitely you know. used it. Kronos, you got you a boat? may be able I to still have talk the to an alchemist who could give you some breathing potions, but surviving the pressure is going to be the hard part. Oh, because he's down there. So we need a submarine. Oh, Ari, uh, Ari what about your cube of force? The Mises cube of force? Yes. Cool. It'll, I mean. I forgot what it does. Let me check the time. No, oh, sorry. The amount that it lasts. Yeah, I don't. I have anything that would be like that. I See, here's the thing about the Cuba Force. <laughs> the thing about the Cuba Force. Uh, when I use it, it lasts for one minute per, you know, the amount of charge I put in that shit. Jelly, have you ever does seen a mer, a mer person? It does. Okay. Mm-mm. Huh? Mm-mm. You've never seen a mer person? She wasn't in the boat? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Okay. But can you, I mean, you've seen a mer person, but mm-hmm. does that mean you can turn into one? Mm-mm. Exactly. How does that work, your spell shift? Or- well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could with shape. my shape change, now that I think about it. And then maybe you can, like, uh, provoke Poseidon and bring him up to sea level. Maybe we need to go fly fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I bet he's kind of heavy. Maybe I could drain the ocean. Guys, I passed a store the other day, and it was great. It said, it was like some sort of, like, hunting store or something, and it said... Men, women, fly fishing, and hunting or something. It was like super specific. Started huh. off with men, women, fly fishing. Huh. Is that all? Is that I mean, what once they sell you there? make it to the entry of the pocket, you won't have to worry about the pressure and oxygen any longer. If you just I have to make it to the pocket, you just have to make it to the entry of the pocket. Yeah. If I just did non living matter can't pass through the barrier. That'd be water, right? That would be water, yeah. And air. Well, air can't but all the little, but we'd have air in it. Alive air in little it. things in the water. Well, the well, yeah, fish could come in, but what are they going to I would think like monsters. Not, at, not at those depths, really. But that only uses two, and so then I could theoretically keep it up for like 18 minutes. I don't know how many minutes it will take us to- It could also turn you into- um, Flop to the bottom. Also, it's not an issue for Josira. She can turn into a water elemental. Mm-hmm. This is a this is an Ari Nathan Lux issue. It's not a Josira issue. I, 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 if there I was a pocket thinks. up in the stratosphere, Josira would turn into an air elemental, and it would still be an Ari Neath and Lux issue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I still think it'd be best if we can lure him out somehow. We got to go to his dimension. Well, if we get him out of it, that's what we're saying. Because he's also going to be more powerful and have more. I don't think he's coming out of that dimension. in his pocket. That's why he's not coming out. So he's in a d- whole different ass dimension. He's not just in like a cave like 8,000 leagues below no, the surface. No, he's, he's oh, in his own sorry. little pocket dimension on this plane. I could shape change into whale and swallow all of you and Moby Dick style. You can be inside me. I <laughs> 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 know it's not huh. like the worst idea. Whoa. <laughs> right? Well, you I still got to see a whale. Well, that's to wild whale. shape into a whale. Not, I could still shape change. She can change. still shape change. Mm-hmm. Oh. Don't ask. That's actually not a bad idea, Josira. I think that's a great mm-hmm. idea. That's actually... And I bet we can hold our breath for 18 minutes. You get an inspiration dice, Josira. Ooh, all right. That's all actually right, a really that. good idea. Because shouldn't, it, shouldn't the pressure inside of you stay at least pretty consistent? With the whale? If we're inside the whale, I bet it yeah. is pressure chambers us with it i bet we go with the whale the mm-hmm. whales go deep deep into the ocean mm-hmm. that's a pretty great idea okay well i it think sounds we, great I anybody think... have anybody have any notes of the audience the gods any notes 
No, that's a good idea. I think we have a plan then. Anybody want to come with, huh? A little little fun adventure? No, not even remotely. All right. (laughs) We hey. have we have given you a portion of our power oh, yeah, to help yeah, no, complete you, this task. You've done great. I just thought maybe it'd be fun to watch. You know, you guys like to watch things. Okay, today. well, I, boring. I, Joe is getting anxious, so she runs to the stable and gets Lucy. Hey, Kronos, can I borrow a horse? I'll take really nice care of it. I don't have any spare horses. Okay, all right. Hey, um. <laughs> Summon your pegacorn. What the hell is happening? All right, I guess well, I probably can just to... walk with you. Yeah, just walk. All right, um, we'll dr- summon my pegacorn. Tell you what, let's just we'll tie a rope around you and drag you behind. <laughs> Great. It's pretty well, good. Maybe yeah. I mean, please. it's a difference of thirty feet a turn. That's that your pegacorn would be behind them. I'm sure I can just walk at when, normal yeah, pace. When well, when you get to the location, you are. What, 30 feet behind them? Don't you move 45 feet a turn? 35. 35? Yeah. Okay, so then you... By myself. Then when they get off of their horse, you are 30 feet behind them. You get off of your horse and, hi, guys, I'm here. Like, in I think seconds. I'll just walk you can't with walk, them. You can't walk at 120 feet a second. My pegacorn surely can, right? Yeah. I'm so Wait, do our horse... Actually, no. It's, what do our, it, how do our horses my move pegas- normal, not my pegas- sprinting? Because they're not going to be able to sprint that far. Sure. No, they're not, not going to be able to days. sprint for three days consecutively. <laughs> not with no. that attitude. But, I mean, you guys have ambrosia, so you could have them sprint for three days consecutively. I would, could, what, would you uh, let Peggy I mean, we're going to have to at least camp roll? and... Why? S- or, because I like sleep. <laughs> That's that's what ambrosia is for. It I, makes you well rested. Also, you could sleep while riding a horse. Learn the that. skill. Um, could I feed uh Shelly some uh ambrosia from one of y'all? Yes. And we could all sprint there, or yes. I could just fly. I guess. Jesus Christ. Just teleport. I cast teleport. Nailed it. I go and okay, I saddle Shelley. up my horse i do not run to the stable i walk to the stable in a leisurely manner but once i get there i groom and i saddle up my horse make sure they have a good feed and then give them some ambrosia this is gonna be rough because i don't have poseidon written down what because you had apollo already <laughs> let's just go kill apollo We're good at that i i need to i'm sure i can wing it i need to do my job <laughs> sorry two birds that's all right. We're just going to slice them with a sickle and be done with them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I, it's a one hit kill. I you won't even see us coming. Feed some. I cast invisible. Ambrosia to Lucy, my horse. Do you have any eyelashes in gum Arabic? Does anybody have any uh, gum Arabic? Then you don't cast invisible. Oh, is that how you. I have no oh, idea. I, I just yeah, wrote something down. He has no idea what, what his note says. It makes no sense whatsoever. I'm just a crazy person playing D&D. I'm you know? uh, doing laps around the farm on Lucy. What? Get some of the skittishness mm-hmm. out. Just hey, Neith, could I have some ambrosia for uh, Shelly? I thought he gave you some. I didn't ask. Oh, here, have here. some. There you go. Got He's it. Got like whole water skins of it. I do because I'm the feed, greatest. Uh, Shelly and uh, Mount, and uh, if I can take off just to go around the the area, like the little farm. I give Anos some, you know, a brush and a little snack. Uh, ask him if he wants his uh, armor on. All right, I'm ready. Is everyone else ready? Throw his armor on him. Loves it. He does. He does, does love it. It makes life. him feel like a big giant war horse when Aww. he goes in with his armor. Say, hey, buddy, you, you good? Or you want some ambrosia? I mean, you've just been chilling and eating, I'm sure. So we'll give you They've all been later. very fed and very happy and very groomed and well taken care of. I sneak him a magic mushroom. Nice. He eats it. It tastes like oats and hay and carrots and apple and fresh spring water. Plain fair, but what he loves. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you guys going to f- sprint for three days to the West Coast? I also mm-hmm. need a Sprint magic for mushroom. three days to the West Coast. I uh, fly most of the way there, but I like stay within 30 feet at all times. Do I see anything from above on the way? Just land and trees cool. and people. Cool. I don't know. You guys said you're sprinting for anything three days. Anything alarming. I mean, not that you would notice. You're sprinting for three days. Sweet. Uh, I I check in with Anos, make sure he's cool with this whole thing going three days. As long sprinting. as he's as long as he's given ambrosia, he's well rested now and hook. could run forever. How much ambrosia is this going to take us? One full water sack total for all four of your beasts. 
Okay. One one full water skin. Sure. All right. Thanks. That's food for you guys to keep you guys from having to sleep. Um, you two. Because you two don't have to sleep. Don't actually know why I even ask, because I still have a weejass water skein full of unlimited ambrosia. So love that for you. Sorry, guys. I will. I I got the next round. I just fill up mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weather like? As you get closer frightful. to the coast, it is indeed frightful. It is stormy. Ooh. There are large swells that come. Eight to ten feet uh, beyond the coast, um, you can see water spouts and tornadoes out in the water. Thunder and mm. lightning. Um, the wrath of Poseidon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. Um, winds sustained at like thirty miles per hour, with gust up to like eighty miles per hour. Mm. How are we going to get a whale inside the ocean, guys? Before, because we can't put it on a rowboat and take it out there. And it'll be beached. She's not she's not a whale right now. I know, but we can't get she, in her mouth right now, and we can't get in her mouth on the beach. Well, I mean, I can fly. Uh, isn't the first step that you still need to see a whale? Only no, for shape. wild shape. Only, she has shape. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you're going to... She can shape shift. She can also talk for herself. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I just <laughs> thought that was covered like 10 minutes ago it when was. it was discussed in... It was. Yeah, so you can let her be seen. In detail. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, um, yeah, so wh- how are we going to get the, because we have to have the whale deep enough in the water, it won't be beached first before we get into it. So and we have that. if the swells are that big, we, your rowboat is not going to get us out there. No. Shelly can swim. I can fly. You've got a broom, don't you? Or is that you? She's got the broom. I, I have a broom. I can give it to you. Well, she I mean, can, I've she got can my boots. on boots. Shelly. So but okay, with all I, this wind oh, and stuff, boots. like, I'm saying can I drop- ride on Shelly too? Yeah, we'll just swim out to you, but you got to get... So what if you and me swim out on Shelly and you, uh, when we get out far enough, you can turn into a whale and you can just drop in. Yeah. And then I'll send Shelly and you and I can just hop in. I want to consult the map, make sure we know where we're going, how close we are. That sort yeah, of how thing. far from shore is... Uh, I don't want to not where look we at the need map to like once go we get here. start descending. So make sure I feel like so going straight out to the water. It is about a thousand yards. Sounds fun. So. And then from there, you can presume it's down under the water. Does there seem to be like a thousand yards from here? Does there seem to be any like uh, markers or anything like? A certain world. No, or in this fantasy world, happen. they haven't created a buoy system or anything like that for you. To, I don't know if like the water um, was churning differently in that no. area. Maybe. It's just Crazy. it's just rough and choppy because of the weather. Condition. Maybe before we get to the beach, we should put our horses up. Good, Good idea. idea. Where are we putting them? There is a cave not far from here that somebody once created a hole that people fell into. Oh, I remember that cave. <laughs> so we're not too far from Pelican Town then. That was Pan's favorite place. But yes, let's go and make sure our horses are taken care of. Yeah, let's head to the cave. Cave ho. To the cave. To the mm-hmm. cave. To the cave. I'm by gonna, the um, pocket. If dimension. I can send Shelly in first just to scope it out a little bit. It's a cave? just a cave. Okay. Cool. Nailed it. There is a hole in the ground. <laughs> Good job, Shelly. That you can walk around. If this that was Deborah's noticed. campaign. Anos, watch out for the hole. Something would have Check gone. For traps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I made a home in the cave. Oh, should there was we the bear family? <laughs> should we put the horses behind the hole? I mean, the hole's not very big, <laughs> right? But yes, like further back, just so they've got that extra. Yeah, he there's would, a hole he, there to he, help he, out. Lucy, follow me. We're safe back here, and I start walking back there with Lucy. Make sure you go around the hole. Mm-hmm. I take Anos around the hole. I tell him, "Hang out here, buddy. We're gonna go fight some a god." Right, I'm just watching it from the mouth of the cave. How dark is the cave? Great. It's dark. I pull out my drift globe so I can see, so I don't fall in the hole. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't have dark vision. You guys are going to leave your horses here in the dark in the cave? Mm-hmm. Should I leave my drift globe in the cave for maybe, the horses? Maybe Do the horses seem food? not happy about the dark cave? Yeah, they're not going to like being left in the dark. Um, Let's build a fire for them. Hey, ask ask my horse if he wants to be out outside in the weather. Um, 
See if the horses have a preference. Can I do an animal handling check and get a feel for it? I thought you could just talk to animals. What the hell? I have a spell that can let me do it, but I don't want to use a spell slot. Why? Ambrosia. Because I feel like I'll I'll need... Mm. Just have ambrosia. Mm. Well, I don't. We're, have, we're I no don't. longer in the topsy turvy. <laughs> okay, I, I I can't speak with animals. Beautiful. Hey hey horses, how do you feel about this cave? Yeah, ask them what they're doing. It's deal dark is. in here. Would you feel better if we started a fire and you could hang out by the fire? Maybe some torches, not a full fire. Okay. How about I just leave my drift globe in here? How would you feel about Neath's drift globe? How long does it last? 48 days. I doubt that. Four days. Oh, I forgot to say, hocus pocus. How do we use... So, um, if it doesn't... If your thing Yo, doesn't last that long... Yeah. Nice. Um, I could um, ask Hades for some unlimited torches. Like, just a few to hang out in here. Not Nothing super suspicious or anything. But just so they don't get spooked. It, the daylight effect refreshes at dawn each day. We might be gone more than one day. Oh, does anybody have any torches or wood or anything we could turn into torches? I don't. We'll have to like anchor it down because it will try to follow me. Mm. So torches, I don't have any. I have a God who sends me stuff if we are in great need. Torches aren't a consider great this great need. Great need. Okay. Is um, there any like um? Shipwreck wood oh, around. Oh, never mind. There is a ton of driftwood on the beach. I, I can't it. use my drift globe because if it is prevented from following me, it will go out and sink to the ground. Does anyone have a spell that can dry driftwood? I can produce flame and probably dry it. Do I have any spells that could help us? Okay, I'll go collect some driftwood. Excellent. Oh, For sure, I just do that. We can worry about how to dry it in a minute. None of that's going to help. Nice. Give me a survival roll, Matt. Love that. Hold on. Survival. Uh, wisdom. Nice. I knew there was an applicable skill somewhere. That fucking sucks. Uh, six. I'm about to die. You cannot successfully get your torches to stay put together. But you have all the components needed to make them. You're just having a difficult time. Getting them fashioned, maybe I, it's because I have a of your thing. Sorry. big dragon yeah, fingers guys, and your my, gloves. My big stupid dragon fingers are having some real trouble, but I've got the materials to make torches. If anybody wants to come help with can your I, non-big stupid dragon can, can fingers, can I try? Yeah, give me a survival roll, Zephyr. Come help me out. I got big dummy hands. Fucking D twenty. I got your fucking. Can I also asshole. go over there and just start trying to help? Do better. Yeah, yeah. you can give me a survival roll. Twelve. Do fucking better. Nice. Uh, with Deborah helping you, you you guys have advantage. Roll with advantage. Even if you rolled well, roll again. Maybe the second one's higher. Roll. Oh, it's pretty good. You have advantage. Roll twenty-five. Okay, you have advantage. You can roll again. Roll again. Because you guys are doing I it wanna together. I want to cast something here in a minute. Oh, yeah. see, Act twenty. See, that's beep, beep, better. Beep. So the war veteran Why can't actually you do that? knows how to make <laughs> very, very good torches that will burn for a considerable amount of time. All she needs is the wood and the cloth and some rope and some oil, and voila, she has made some very, probably about four or five foot tall tiki torches that will burn for a number of days for the horses. Very racist. I also have a, uh, I have a brazier too. What what, what else would you call that torch for me to... (laughs) No, it's a tiki torch, it's very racist, yeah. What 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 other names should I get? No, I mean the white nationalists use it. What is what call? I mean. Is it racist? Not because oh, really? it's tiki torch. Oh, yeah. tiki torch. Those oh. fucking weirdos. Um, I, have, I just always called them tiki torches. No, the they're tiki torches. Yeah, that's what they are. Flame and it will last until I dispel it. But the white people ruin but tiki torches. Oh, I can. Your, um, your your veteran war rogue over here. Is we think three days will be good. Done that. Yeah. Without the need of any magic. She just We ain't kill him together. Poseidon for three days. We're going to kill him uh, immediately. We're going to find have him a, in I a just slice. haven't seen this thing in action yet. I, I trust you. I also have a brazier, too. So I said- Like that. a bra? Oh, there you go. <laughs> That'd be nice. Do you have any coals? Or I guess you can get some driftwood to put in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'll give him some nice warmth, too. Yeah, that'll give him some warmth. The torches will produce light, but the brazier will give them some, some warmth. Love <laughs> it. <laughs> Happy horses, happy life. How long life. does That's a they say. brazier laugh? Um, laugh? The big thing is... 400 days? Mm-hmm. Oh. What is your deal over there? Hey, does it. somebody have like <laughs> a real? bucket or oh. something to bring in some water for them? Salt water? 
I got a never I'm not ending. that far. <laughs> Does, okay. I Wait, do pur- I have a purify bucket? Purify water is something. Don't you have, I have like a, a water never skin ending? That, yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got the water. I just need something to put it in. Hold on. Do I have something? Oh, I've got it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've got the nev- you've got the never-ending water skin. That's right. The Bindi gave you. Do I have any containers? Let's see. It's not looking good on the container front, guys. Does anybody have a bucket? Do you have anything on your oh, uh, really robe of many things? I've got a goddamn useful bag things? of holding. Why don't I get a bucket next? Get a bu- I'm going to write that down. Get there might a be bucket. a bucket in there. I have another pole. <laughs> you have another hole? <laughs> another pole. Oh, well, you Damn have it. another pole. I have a rowboat. We can we fill I've the made rowboat a note. up with water. Could could rowboat robo. could use as a yeah. could be used as a trough. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, we could use the I don't pole think I'm ever to hook actually the use that rowboat. To. How long is it going to take me? Do you want to put the pole in there, like fashion it in there, and then hook your horses up to it? A couple hours. Don't you need? It would take you a couple hours to fill it up. Bring out the rowboat. Do you got? Or do you want to fill up the hole? That well, would we'd take have to make it like to we'd have to also hole. make it like How deep mud. is the hole? Isn't it like ten feet? Ten foot by ten foot. Yeah, yeah. ten by ten. Yeah, and it's probably not clay, or it's probably just sand and dirt. I could. I have a spell. I think create water. Let me see. Yeah, I think it only lasts for. Um, I think it only lasts for like an hour or something, though. Yeah, I've got a brass mug with jade inlay, which is quite nice, but that's yeah. big enough for horses to drink out of. Not no, for... I feel like a rowboat would be good enough for a I couple I think that's a I great idea. I break it out. I'll start filling it. And it probably it. has seats already going across it where yeah. you can hook your horses up to. The horses aren't going to go anywhere. They don't need to be hooked up to anything. They are very well-trained horses. I horses. pull off. I, I pull out my... Rope of useful items. Oh. <laughs> and I rip off a patch and throw it down and it turns into a rowboat. Poof. There's a rowboat. I love that. Sitting cockeyed in the in on the cave floor. <laughs> Cock. All right, I start filling it with the never ending water skin. I till it's empty. Once it's empty, blow on it. Isn't there a uh do it again. a create water cantrip? Probably. Yeah. This- Je- uh Jelly was looking that it's up. It's definitely but not a cantrip I think I've it taken. It only lasts for a certain amount of time. Till it's drunk. Like the water only lasts a certain amount of time? Yeah. Or maybe it's only a certain amount of water. I feel like there's a restriction yeah, but if it, on it. Yeah, but if it's a spell or a Oh, cantrip, here we go. Yeah. You can just cast it over and over and over again. So I drink a little ambrosia so I can Yep. You can cast it an infinite <laughs> amount of times. So this is... Um, All right. You can stop with the uh, the water skin. So, so the, the water skin is like the best water. <laughs> so this is create or destroy water. There you go. I'm going to create water. All I need is a drop. A drop of water. Or oh man! If trap. only somebody had a water skin and I've never been filling this skin. boat up with. Oh water. yeah, there's like a couple puddles in the bottom of the uh, of the. I've been at so it. So I I um create ten gallons of water for okay. the rowboat. Do it. That's do it not very big. Do it a whole bunch. Do it a hundred more yeah. times. Okay. Well, I mean, you're not going to need a hundred gallons of water, and you could probably get away with like fifty gallons of water. So I do. I mean, the bathtub rowboat. is so like I, seventy so gallons. So you take another so swig really? of ambrosia. Yeah. So About I, seventy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I cast it five times to create fifty. There gallons. There you go. Bam. Fifty gallons. There baby. is a rowboat full of magic created water for the horse. That is not salt water. That is not salt water. Um, should we leave them a little tack or anything, guys? I don't know. They're your horses. I, I mean, leave. they already have their tax. I, so I talk to the horses. For three days? I'm like, hey, horses, how does this all what feel What is this three you? days thing? That's this is comfortable? Long, that's how okay. long we have to Tell get Ari back. Tell Ari to keep me in my armor in case bears come. Hey, Ari, some, uh, your horse asks you to keep you, to keep it in his armor. Oh, you got it, buddy. Bears. Give him a nice pat. That's smart. And Anos tells you he'll protect the other two horses. Aw. So Anos is going to protect the other horses. So protect them from what? A, um, from bears. Oh. Bears, right, yes. Which, do, does anybody have any, like, golems they can leave around to kill bears? I don't want um, bears to have to fight well, bears. Hey, hey, well, Sherry, bears. Shelly can come back and chill with them um, while, um, um, after she drops us off Oh, and she can breathe the fire, whale. right? And laser beams. She just breathe, uh, breathes axes. Yes, axes. You shoot right out. And axes from Texas. No, she's not a... Was she blessed with fire? I don't think so. Probably not, but she definitely has razor teeth. Yeah, she's got some pretty good attack. Like, she'd take a bear out. So I'll send Shelly back to uh, be, uh, keep an eye out just in case when we're done drop, getting dropped off. I love hmm. it. So now the plan. Um. So I have a spell, Water Breathing. That you can cast oh, on all of us. Yeah, 10 willing creatures. Oh, we still so well, we're not going to do the whale thing. Would be good for us inside of the whale. Well, I may not need to. That's not how. 
but pressure. The we pressure. already talked about the pressure. Oh, right. Yeah. When you're in a submarine, we were going to use go the whale the pressure. to help with mm-hmm. the pressure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So maybe we still stick with the whale plan. And I, yeah. I'll have it ready just in case. I like no, that. No, give idea. us the water breathing so that we can breathe in your belly. Just turn everybody into a jellyfish. Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure it's a thing how that Jelsira can shape change other willing participants. How do um, they do in pressure water? Let me. Uh, hey, jellyfish. Hey, they're they're amazing. Jellyfish in, like, they're in the, the dark zone. Shit, we all should just go down as jellies. Hey guys, <laughs> let me turn <laughs> us into jellies. It oh is, man, the DM gets an inspiration dice. I don't know if Neef is willing though. Um, Aster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should RP in this RPG game. Okay, I'm gonna. Um, How would a giant ape do under the water? Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Hey guys, I need some. I need a moment to prepare my new spells. Okay. Okay. No one peep on her. I'm just gonna um, love on Shelly a little bit. Hey Ari. What up? Can I have one of those mushrooms? What? what? Thanks. I give you a mushroom. Thanks. I eat it. It tastes like the best meal. That you've ever had in your entire life. It what reminds you of your most favorite mushrooms? meal from wherever your favorite meal was. It could have been on the battlefield or from your homeland, something that you really, really love. It was an MRE from the battlefield. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> some garbage ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this roasted rat tastes good. <laughs> what are the magic mushrooms? That's fun. Bindi make, grows these mushrooms and I buy them from her and they. You you have one and it say it. This is important. It sates you, for one. It what? Sates you. It's as good. It, oh, it, like it sates you. It makes you, you feel kind of yeah. Thing? Okay. Uh, oh, satisfied. That's what that means. Yes. So it does that, which is the important part. But also, it tastes like whatever your favorite meal is. It's the best thing you've ever had, and it's Ooh, great. That's really sweet. So it's fun, and I don't need to eat anymore. So, but I just have them, and I like to use them to bribe people, not bribe. You know, make people make happy people feel happy. So they want to, you know, do whatever I tell them. That's manipulative, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that it mushroom works. I gave you on your knees. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Should we all just turn into jellyfish? Wouldn't that be cool? I don't hate the idea. Is that a thing we can do? Yeah, she can. I think I think jelly set up to ten. I think we hop in to the water. Get to the portal and then jellies live at the deepest. Do another episode. Deeps jelly. Mm-hmm. Are you turning us into a jellyfish? If you're willing, I can. I can. I'm that always cool? willing to become another. Also, creature. it's a how are we going to get into mechanism. the pocket dimension? We're going to jelly. We're going to jelly down. They do this thing like they. <laughs> yeah, but like I remember <laughs> with <laughs> Artemis, there was like a door. And we had to open the door. Are we going to be able to do that as jellyfish? They got like tentacles, right? What was the door like for Artemis? Do we still think as jellyfish? Like, or does no, like you're... the jellyfish nature take over? You, you're still you. Overthinking. But you can't communicate normally, but you, you're you still you. So if we get... St- okay. Let's be jellyfish. S- so we can't communicate? No. That seems weird. Well, so, okay, we got so... tentacles. We just... When we get to the door and go in, will you unshape us? What, what was the door, door like at Artemis? What mm-hmm. if it's like a rock we have to roll away? Then we do that as jellyfish. Or you Jesus may Christ. cube us because by then we'd be pressurized. Where jellyfish are the greatest. They're like the number one awesomest animal in the animal kingdom that kills all the other animals. Are they one of those animals that aren't really animals? They are They're aliens. aliens. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, so what was Artemis's planets. door like when we went to, or when y'all went to Artemis's door? What have things been like when you've killed the other gods? I mean, it was like a regular door. Yeah, we just walked in, killed her, and it was, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Do I Wonder remember anything special that shit. about Artemis's door. <laughs> I don't remember. It was a door. It was made of yeah. doors. Made of wood and iron and had a handle. And a bunch of Was there a lock doors. on it? I don't remember. If it was, it was unlocked. Sounds like. Jellies can flatten out too, so maybe we could slide in through a seam if it if if, if it was locked. Consulting the map, how far away is the pocket from this cave? Eleven hundred yards. So not far, and that's where we we go straight down after that, right? Mm-hmm. How, do, how do we know the depth of that yet, or do we just go until we find it? The map doesn't show the depth of the water. So should we fly out there and then jelly, 
Or how long does jellying last? And can jellyfish swim really fast through bad water? You know, let me get my spell. It's probably pretty calm after like 15 feet. The swells are only like 20 feet. I don't know what any of those words mean. Mostly the, on top. Mostly the numbers. The water There's would be probably... calmer the deeper you go into it because the weather would have less of an effect on the water. So dive down, become jellies, move fast. Jellyfish move too. You don't have that spell, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel like SpongeBob where it comes up and it's like six hours later. <laughs> One eternity later. <laughs> None of you guys have spells that can turn you into jellyfish. Cut her some slack. I don't think she has that spell. No, we're we're making fun of jellyfish and how far they can go. Or she has, she has, she's she shaped it, shape shifted you all into clouds once before. That's and we remember how that went. Yeah, we should we should all become bet, giant right, apes. Everywhere. Not well. And it was not go good. In the water. I was the one you who know. figured out how to get out of it. Fun creative idea, though. I bet we should put on giant ape scuba gear. <laughs> scuba, like <laughs> self-contained underwater yes. breathing apparatus. Oh yes, <laughs> that we didn't get from the. <laughs> How but the, the giant ape comes with it. No, it doesn't. It's just a feature of a giant ape is it has scuba gear. Okay. I only ever saw a giant ape in scuba gear, okay? Just that's what they that's how they come. That's absolutely not true. <laughs> You've been out. a giant ape before and you didn't have I scuba had, gear. I think I had scuba gear. No, you definitely didn't. I feel like I had Where scuba gear. Where did you get He just needed to use the scuba gear. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was attached to me and just wasn't useful because it wasn't in the water. <coughs> Jelly, make me a giant ape. The scuba gear, specifically that kind. Hey, do you guys want to have a hero's feast? A scuba ape. Yes. I want to get, I want to turn into Can we share it with for... the horsies? Um, I mean, it's for. Can we eat the heroes? It's for heroes. <laughs> Up to 12 creatures can partake in it. Why, though? We get, we get stat Damn increases. Damn it, there's 28 of us. For 24 hours, so. Okay. We get cured of, um, we become immune to poison and being frightened. We make wall wisdom saving throws with advantage. And our hit point maximum goes up. If we want. Yeah, let's just do that for sure. Okay. I like that. I like that idea a lot. Okay. I cast Heroes Beast. Because I'm sure it'll be like Zelda where like you don't like just die right away if you're drowning. It's like your hit points will go down. Mm-hmm. Also, if you guys die while you're drowning, you just end up in the underworld, and then you Go come back. a door. In the water, drowning. Keep dying and moving over along. Over and over and over. Okay, yeah, but you get so, a few seconds each time. So that's true. You okay, make so something for everybody to remember is that we're immune to poison and being frightened and disease, and we get advantage on all wisdom saving throws. And so our hit point... Hold on. Poison and what? disease um and we're immune from uh being frightened and we have advantage on all wisdom saving throws and we get a 2d10 hit point maximum increase so everybody roll 2d10 hero's feast is pretty dope 2d 2d mm-hmm. dun, dun, dun. that's a 12 11 which one is the 10 is it this one it's the 10 sided one nailed it Oh, I've got at least two of those. That's an eight. Where's my other one? Is nine the, it has the zero on it. Is that mm-hmm. correct? Okay. Must still be in the bag. All right, we'll just do it twice. Yikes. Total of five. Well done. Yeah. Four, Nicely rolled. Four and one. So my temporary I got a hit 12. points are three ten. I got a weapon. Okay. Pointless. Doesn't matter. Here okay. we go. Okay, may as well do it, right? I don't know what my maximum hit points We haven't eaten in three days. I know we've got ambrosia and all that, but I like real food. <laughs> you would. Should we become jellyfish? You just had a um, I mean, meal. I don't know. If we become jellyfish, though, that means we're basically subject to the currents. We, we can't control where we go. All right, become a whale. We'll jump in your mouth. Let's do this thing. Yeah, I don't know if becoming jellyfish we is gotta smart. We got to end the episode. How about we just turn into a whole episode. other cloud we, episode? How about we jump into <laughs> the, her mouth, though, as jellyfish so that we survive? I think we jump innards. into her mouth as humans, into her human mouth, her human halfling mouth. <laughs> what? We just, let's get in there now. She's the smallest out of all of us. I liked the original plan. We'll okay. get on Shelly, we'll, and we'll swim out there. She'll jump in the water, become a whale, and we'll jump in the mouth. Just use your canoe to row out to the... It, the 
the we used are it, and also it. the swells are really high. the The rowboat is um, not also. Good I for I could that. wild shape into a dolphin if somebody wants to swim out there with me. Okay, so I'm worried about the acids of the belly, so I think we should turn into jellies when we get... You should turn us into jellies. I don't think she's going to swallow. Let's just keep I this think in if, her mouth. I think if you're jellies, that, that'll make it worse, because yeah. then I'll start to digest you. So you're also, just going to you hold us in, on your tongue? Yes, you okay. guys aren't going to be in her belly. Right. That's, she's conscious. She'll be, we'll she's be our in her friend. Mouth. Well, good. You can hear us then. She's <laughs> not going to accidentally swallow us. She's going to put us in her yeah. mouth. And we're going to okay, be like, you trust her yeah, a lot like more Pinocchio. Than yeah, we're going to like, or Jonah. We're going to use fat. like their teeth as chairs. Okay. So, um, or is, brush it, it. is everybody ready? Yes. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, Shelly, as soon as you drop us off um, a thousand yards out, um, please come back to the horses and protect them uh, from bears and whatnot. Okay, I uh, hop out. Shelly goes out to the um, thing. I grab Jelly, throw her on my shoulders since the water's pretty choppy, and I jump on Shelly. Knees, I would you like to behind. hop on? All right. Uh, and Shelly swims a thousand yards out. I'm going to fly out. Sweet. Did we make it. And that will do us for this episode of Someone Play. Bam, bam, bam. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you for listening to Some Would Play, a production of the Outsanity Network. Join us again next week as the story continues. Find us online at www.somewoodplay.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Somewoodplay. Deborah is at Sonia Taki. Rico is at R1C0. Jenna is at Jenna Toll. Daphne is at Dafterthought. And I am Psychedelic M. If you enjoy the show, please tell your friends and share it with others. And remember, in real life, you needn't roll for initiative, so just seize it.